So Karen Warren, uh, what sort of a painting are you doing here today? This one's called Fangang Puna. It means eels biting stones, my mother's language. It's about these two waterfalls and the junction of the river. And the white is the water after it's gone over the waterfall. It, yeah, it means eels biting stones. We used to climb this waterfall when we were kids. We used to grab the little baby eels and bite them. So we were boys biting eels, climbing stones. <laughs> so that's what this story is about, Fengang Puna. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the water. The brown's the earth and the red is represents the people in their blood. Okay, so how long have you been painting for? I had my first exhibition with my mum when I was eight. I used to do um, landscapes. Mum was tutored by Clifton Pugh, a pretty famous artist. He went over and painted the portrait of Prince Philip, I think. So we used to, used to do landscapes and stuff too, but I always wanted to do the Aboriginal art, so then got stuck into that instead, and bang, here we are. I'd rather do mo the stories from where my mum comes from, you know? Oh, yeah. Than the other art. It feels more natural to do. So where do you have uh, your paintings hanging? Have you got any uh, famous areas that you've um, got little paintings? The Prince of Saudi Arabia's got one now. Um, Prime Minister of Turkey. The Shah of Selangor, or Sheikh of Selangor, um, Michael Schumacher, Pierce Brosnan, someone said Sarah Brightman's got one. Uh, also some pretty renowned people have bought your paintings. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Yep. So yeah, this is not finished yet. I might put bread through there. Okay. And the circles represent the water holes, is that right? Water holes, yeah. Very good. Hit the ditch. It's a bit cold too, that's why I'm all rugged up. <laughs> Fifth day of winter or something.